It's the weekly reset and we're gonna go over what is available for this week and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So given that it's the weekly reset, let's start with the milestones first. First off, we have the Iron Banner. So if you guys didn't know, Iron Banner is back. And we need to complete three challenges in the Iron Banner, then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is... The Paramidian. So go ahead and enjoy that wonderfulness. Next, we have Leviathan, which you need to beat the Raid or the Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Clan XP, you get Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. Then this week's Flashpoint is on Nessus, which you need to complete public events on Nessus. And if you do the Heroic versions of this, you can get it done a lot faster. Then we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. And for some reason, I still have Celebrate with New Monarchy on... Uh, this list. I have no idea why though. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Starting first with the emotes, we have uh, Humbug, then we have Groovy Dance. For the vehicles, we have the Curse of Foresight, and this is Osiris's uh, speeder. For the ship, we have Sails of Osiris, which is Osiris's ship. I've actually been waiting for this for a very long time, actually. I have the speeder, just never got the ship. So I'm going to have to get rid of a couple things to uh, be able to get that. Ornaments, we have Break the Dawn for the Merciless. Pretty much turns it white. And next we have the Eye of Osiris for the Prometheus Lens. And we also have the Midnight Sun uh, ornament for the Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlock. And this is pretty much what it looks like. As for our ghost, we have the Upward Climber Shell. Just another one of those wonderful reskins. Then we have your Cabal Arrival Trantabout Effect. Shaders this week are Desert of Gold. As, whoops, I'm gonna look at that real quick, sorry. as well as the Metallic Sunrise. Then we have your Fireteam Medallion, your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as of the Crucible. Let's go ahead and see what Lord Celadon has for the Iron Banner for this week. You're here. Good. We have your wonderful faction rewards, but the featured weapons are the Joram's Claw, which is a pulse rifle. This comes with adaptive frame, uh, SLO 10 post, SPO 25, uh, 26 front, SRO 41 ocular. Then we have a pendant mag, drop mag, as well as outlaw. Then we have Orimund's Anvil. It's an auto rifle. I don't know why they make these names so hard. We got a uh, precision frame, IS2 classic, uh, model six loop, mark 15 lens, accurate rounds, steady rounds, as well as under pressure. And then the last weapon is the Ore Wings Maul, which is a grenade launcher. This comes with lightweight frame, uh, counter mass, quick launch, confined launch, uh, concussion grenades, blinding grenades, as well as auto loader holster. Hmm. Blinding grenades. That's uh, gonna be pretty interesting. 
And last but not least, don't forget to visit Kate6 in order to get his wonderful treasure maps. Treasure maps this week are on uh, Nessus, so go ahead and grab all of those. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.